The future of the Negro in this country is precisely as bright or as dark as the future of the country. That's influential American author James Baldwin in the documentary I Am Not Your Negro. Baldwin's iconic essays and novels explore race, justice, and power in America, most notably during the civil rights era. We asked 18-year-old poet Playon Patrick to narrate some of Baldwin's work. I can't breathe! It comes as a great shock to discover that the country, which is your birthplace and to which you owe your life and your identity, has not in its whole system of reality evolved any place for you. The brutality with which Negroes are treated in this country simply cannot be overstated. However unwilling white men may be to hear it, in the beginning, and neither can this be overstated, a Negro just cannot believe that white people are treating him as they do. He does not know what he has done to merit it. Get out! Wow. Now! <laughs> And in fact, the truth about the black man as a historical entity and as a human being has been hidden from him, deliberately and cruelly. The power of the white world is threatened whenever a black man refuses to accept the white world's definitions, so every attempt is made to cut that black man down, not only was made yesterday, but is made today. I'm in pain! But damn it, I'm gonna keep on coming out here. I'm gonna keep on saying that. I'm gonna keep on. America, of all the Western nations, has been best placed to prove the uselessness and obsolescence of the concept of color. But it has not dared to accept this opportunity, or even to conceive of it as an opportunity. Color is not a human or personal reality. It is a political reality. But this is a distinction so extremely hard to make that the West has not been able to make it yet. And at the center of this dreadful storm, this vast confusion, stand the black people of this nation, who must now share the fate of a nation that has never accepted them, to which they were brought in chains. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! For a very long time, for example, America prospered, or seemed to prosper. This prosperity cost millions of people their lives. Now, not even the people who are the most spectacular recipients of the benefits of this prosperity are able to endure these benefits. They can neither understand them, nor do without them, nor can they go beyond them. Above all, they cannot or dare not assess or imagine the price paid by their victims or subjects for this way of life. And so, they cannot afford to know why the victims are revolting. This is a formula for a nation's or a kingdom's decline, for no kingdom can maintain itself by force alone. The best fed nation on earth. No other country can afford to dream of a Plymouth and a wife and a house with a fence and the children growing up safely to go to college and to become executives and then to marry and have the Plymouth and the house and so forth. A great many people do not live this way and cannot imagine it and do not know that when we talk about democracy, that this is what we mean. 30 seconds of silence for George Floyd. What is it you want me to reconcile myself to? I was born here almost 60 years ago. I'm not gonna live another 60 years. You always told me it takes time. It has taken my father's time, my mother's time, my uncle's time, my brother's and my sister's time, my nieces and my nephew's time. How much time do you want for your progress? Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. John Patrick is also a youth ambassador for the Obama Foundation's My Brother's Keeper. I cannot recommend highly enough 
the James Baldwin documentary, I Am Not Your Negro. It I, is I profound. It. I haven't seen it. What stood out to you? Is there something, it, one line in particular that there you liked? Is, in, the, in the documentary, yeah. the whole thing. He, he, so much of what this conversation about today, he was saying in the early 1960s so eloquently. It's, it's very moving. I know. I'm embarrassed to say I haven't seen it, but now I will watch it, Anthony. Special shout out, special mommy hug to you, my type, Amora Beate, for editing that piece. Those things are very difficult to do. I say this all the time when you see a piece with no track. That takes a lot of work, so you go. Tony? Takes a lot of work, yeah. yeah. Well done, yeah, well done, and well done, play on, bringing yes. those words to life again exactly. in a new generation. You're watching CBS This Morning. We'll be right back.